Welcome to Chinese folktale, Weasel. Speaking of weasels, many people know that it is the most evil, and there are many stories about them cultivating into elves. Today we will tell the story of Li Zhongping and the weasel. At that time, China had just reformed and opened up. In order to make a living, Li Zhongping guarded the few acres of land every day, facing the lus and his back to the sky, sweating beads on the ground, working hard, and he was busy all day at home and outside the house. Every day it was dark before he could go home for dinner, Li Zhongping has a habit of putting a small dining table in the yard, heating a pot of wine, and not paying attention to what to eat, drinking by himself, eating some peanuts, drinking some wine, and the bitterness and tiredness of the day will be resolved most of it. I can't remember the day when such a life started. Li Zhongping was drinking wine that night, and out of the corner of his eye, he saw a weasel squatting on the firewood pile by the wall. Staring straight at the food on the table. When Li Zhongping saw that it was drooling, he picked up a piece of meat and threw it over. The weasel hurriedly hid aside, stared at it for a while, and couldn't help but moved closer to it, sniffing and sniffing vigilantly. Li Zhongping looked at it. Ridiculous, everyone says that weasels are evil, and they are really right, they are quite shrewd. Li Zhongping also took a bite of the meat and ate it to let the weasel know that it was edible. The weasel seemed to understand Li Zhongping's intentions and picked up the piece of meat and ate it. From then on, as long as Li Zhongping came to eat at that time, the weasel also came, and Li Zhongping also treated it as a guest, no matter what he ate, he put some on a plate and put it on the ground for it to eat, and it passed for a long time. Li Zhongping ate here, and the weasel chewed there. Li Zhongping couldn't help sighing after drinking too much wine. If the weasel could talk, it would be great for the two of them to chat while drinking. He knew that the other party was a beast, but Li Zhongping felt a little bitter. No one talked, so he complained to the weasel, at that time, his family was very poor, and he had been with his girlfriend for a long time, but he never got married. The reason was that his girlfriend's family wanted a large wedding gift, and he couldn't get it out. Li Zhongping was quite anxious about it, but money couldn't be produced, and he didn't get out, so he used wine to drown his worries. After drinking for a while, he became drunk, and in a daze, he heard someone tell him to open his eyes. When he opened his eyes, he saw that it was the weasel. The first thought in Li Zhongping's mind was that he was dreaming, but the weasel said it was not in a dream, he also seriously talked about money with Li Zhongping. He said that he knew a place where money could be obtained. And he described that place in detail. Li Zhongping couldn't help laughing because the weasel spoke very seriously. Whether he was dreaming or awake, he got up and went back to the house to sleep. A few days later, his girlfriend suddenly proposed to break up, because someone could afford the wedding gift, and the parents wanted to marry her to that person. At that time, the parents' orders and the matchmaker's words were all important, and the girl had no choice. She bid farewell to Li Zhongping with tears. As the saying goes, half a penny can't beat a hero, not to mention that the wedding gift is not a small sum of money. No matter how much Li Zhongping hated and made trouble, it was useless. When he got home, he drank alone again. The more he drank, the more sad he became, and the more he drank, the sadder he became. Just when he was heartbroken, the weasel came again. Under its instigation, Li Zhongping decided to give it a try. The weasel told him that the money is enough for you. Do not take too much, you have no wealth in your destiny, and you can't afford to take too much money. Li Zhongping remembered the words of the weasel. And went out with the pickaxe on his shoulders. According to the weasel, he found the big earth bag on the mountain to the west. He opened the earth bag and dug down, and sure enough, he found a tomb brick. Li Zhongping dug a hole out of the tomb brick, and sure enough, there was a big red coffin inside. Li Zhongping was both happy and frightened. He knelt on the ground, cowed out a few times towards the coffin, and then pried the coffin lid aside with a pick. Burial gold, silver, and jewelry. Li Zhongping took a deep breath, reached into the coffin, grabbed a string of jade beads and put them in his pocket. 
he felt that the string of jade beads was more than enough to marry his girlfriend. Li Zhongping turned around and wanted to leave, but on second thought, since they are all here, so I might as well get a little more and buy a house and a piece of land to make life easier. There is a saying that, greed is not enough for a snake to swallow an elephant, but he forgot what the weasel said, took a lot of gold, silver, and jewelry, put them in his pocket, and ran home with his hands covering them all the way. While thinking about how to live a better life, isn't there such a sentence? Extreme joy begets sorrow, he raised his head abruptly, thinking that his heart was broken, and three bandits wandered across from him. There were bandits on the mountain at that time. And the three probably went down the mountain to find a drink. Li Zhongping lowered his head, trying to sneak past them, but when he passed by, he was stopped by a bandit. A bandit saw that Li Zhongping was disheveled, and he didn't seem to be able to find anything, so he stopped the bandit and told him not to waste time. Li Zhongping thought he had escaped a catastrophe. He started to run home, but the run failed, and a string of jade beads fell out of his pocket. The bandits caught up with Li Zhongping and robbed him of his gold, silver and jewels. They even beat Li Zhongping severely. One of them broke Li Zhongping's leg with the butt of his gun. In the end, Li Zhongping lost everything. Property. Later, his girlfriend also married, and he also became lame. He didn't marry Tsuehua, who was five years older than him, until he was in his thirties. Li Zhongping never laughed much in the rest of his life. Some people said that the weasel was trying to give him a test, but Li Zhongping failed the test, otherwise he might have made a fortune long ago. And after that night, the weasel never came again. After reading this story, do you believe that a weasel can become an elf?